How's it going, boys? This is David with Blade Banter. We're going to be talking about specifications you can relate to. So you can have an educated decision on your purchases. This is going to be a knife from Civivi. So this is going to be the way that you can carry it if you would like. This is the model number C914DS-2. Yes, it is. Uh, so that's going to be what this looks like if you're going to be using the sheath. Uh, so uh, that's going to be another way you can carry it. Or you could just carry it um, just roving in your pocket. Uh, but there's going to be the sheath that comes with it and it does actually make a difference at least what i found as far as uh, how it's going to ride in your pocket uh, so now when i was riding it tip up carry um, i found that now basically this little uh, edge here uh, helped to have that in the side where i'm actually not having my thumb uh, to actually pull it out if i'm going to leave the sheath in my pocket so that's just what i found with it uh, you might find something different uh, but also um, for myself um, I don't really need it to be as deep carry it as it is. I mean, that's kind of the trend, uh, but it makes it a little bit harder to actually get out of the pocket. Probably once the sheath breaks in entirely, it would actually be easier to get in and out, but I'd almost rather have it be uh, just a little bit more proud of the pocket so it can actually be uh, grabbed uh, with in this manner, uh, because then I found myself just kind of fishing around to try and get it out, because I can't really grab it this way. I'm gonna have to pull it out this way uh, from the pocket. So if that were just a little bit, um, I guess, more shallow, um, then that would actually be a more usable uh, sheath uh, for my preference. Uh, but yeah, it goes right in there, and that's how it rides. That's all that's going to be showing out of your pocket. And it's going to be in the same place every time, so that's kind of the thing about uh, having it ride around uh, without having the sheath, is it kind of just um, roves around your pocket. You don't know really where it is. You know which pocket's in, uh, but not where it is in that pocket, especially if it's sharing space with something else. So this is gonna be how it is enough for that. And we're gonna look at some of the different things that are available for it as far as hand sizing uh, for adult women's hand and adult men, men's hand uh, for it. So it's gonna be a decently small uh, knife. Uh, so that's gonna be not a big one. Uh, so this is gonna be for adult women's hand as far as how that's gonna ride for you in your hand. And then we're also gonna be looking at adult nails hand on this other side uh, so these are the things you can print out in the comments down below uh, or the um, description down below if you would like to to get these charts uh, so you can actually see uh, what that's going to look like for yourself uh, weight wise uh, it's going to be uh, different weights of course with the knife itself and then also with the sheath so uh, for that weight it's about 2.6 ounces uh, for the blade itself uh, which in uh, the measurement for this channel is going to be about 13 quarters and then you're gonna have for uh, the sheath with it is gonna be another uh, basically uh, seven ounces or 0.7 ounces. So that's gonna be two quarters and a penny. So you're gonna add those up and that's gonna be uh, this together. Or if you eliminate this, uh, then you're gonna be just riding with 2.6 ounces uh, for this knife here. So that's gonna be really your preference as far as how you carry it, uh, what you would prefer. Uh, price wise, 94 or 99, 45 is what I found for pricing a lot of places are still out of stock on this model specifically and then uh, MSRP is about 117 a few different models available ones without Damascus uh, ones with uh, but this is going to be how that's going to run uh, the uh, micarta that's on this I don't know how um, long it's going to last for it that's my only concern because it is very almost felt like uh, so it is something that I don't know if it's going to be absorbing a lot of moisture for it uh, but uh, the carbon fiber is really nice for uh, the knife. Uh, but then there is a little bit of a, an edge on this uh, transition and then not on this side. So this side is finished uh, uh, to a point where you can feel it because it's a different uh, material, uh, but you can't feel that transition. transition. Uh, but this one, you can feel it uh, for the side. For a $100 knife, I would prefer to have that be uh, good on both sides. Uh, but that's just something that comes along with running with two different uh, materials uh, for it. Uh, for the now weight side, uh, so I use the lineman pull gauge again. I use that a lot uh, for the videos that I do. Uh, so to give you an idea, not for my preference or not for uh, my opinion on it, but actually what the weight was. Uh, so to actually get it to open, uh, so I hooked into it and then I was like actually able to open it. So to the half stop, uh, that's going to be 12.3 uh, ounces. And then to the full open position, it's going to be 13.2 ounces. And then back close, uh, so this down this way, it's gonna actually be uh, 8.7 to the half stop. And then it does have a more of a detent or weight uh, for that spring. 
uh, to actually close it down. So to actually close it down, that's going to be uh, one pound, uh, 8.5 ounces. So it is a little bit of safety thing for that, uh, most likely uh, to actually make sure that that is uh, the most amount of pressure needed to actually fi finish and close the blade entirely. So pinch and roll is something that's available for it. So you can pinch and roll it open uh, one handed if you'd like to, or of course the traditional style, two hands and then open it up. It does have a nice click to it, so you can probably hear that as far as when it opened up. It has a very good sound for it. Uh, so uh, also the lock is another thing. So to actually initiate this lock, it's going to be about 7 pounds, uh, 3.2 ounces of uh, pressure needed to pinch this closed. And then that's in comparison, like a buck 110, I measured that one, that one's like 10 pounds, 11.3 uh, ounces, so a good deal more. So if you have a buck 110 and you know what that is, uh, this is going to be a lighter pull to actually close it down. There's a smaller knife as well, uh, but that's going to be the difference on that. Uh, so this one also is a, about a 2.93 uh, inch blade as far as what I measured. And then it is a clip point hollow grind, a very thin hollow grind. Uh, so that's something that you're not going to find on a lot of the traditionals necessarily uh, for other brands, but very nice for this. And then uh, that's where you're going to also have, it's probably going to be like a 9CR blend. Uh, they don't actually say what uh, steels they used for this Damascus, uh, but it is much better than anything you're going to find uh, most times uh, from Pakistan, uh, those type of things. So if there's a Pakistani blade that is of really good quality, let me know on it because uh, I've heard horrible things on it, uh, either not heat treated, uh, just very poor steels. Uh, but if you have something, let me know. Uh, that's going to be uh, what that looks like. Uh, handle side is 3.85 inches and then also behind edge thickness uh, is again very thin. Uh, this one is going to be where it's going to be um, basically 15 thousandths or four sheets of paper and then the blade stock on it is going to be about 2.5 millimeters and that's going to be uh, very decent for it. So the actual cutting on it, uh, it's a very decent. Uh, this has gone through a few people's hands so it's not going to be uh, basically that super super smooth uh, but that's really testing the apex not the behind edge thickness the behind edge thickness is where you're going to be testing it with more of like a cardboard or anything else uh, so if you're actually going to be cutting through uh, something that's a little bit thicker so there's actually two sheets or two pieces of cardboard uh, so actually cutting through this you're going to be cutting through that a little bit deep, not better so it still has resistance for it there's two sheets but it's cutting through it's not actually um, basically bending this or anything else so it's not actually having a lot of uh, resistance going through so it's actually able to slice through that pretty decently uh, without having a lot of distortion on those pieces as they go through so very good uh, for that as far as a slicing ability for those things so it does have a lanyard uh, for it as well so if you want to run a lanyard um, i don't have lanyards on any of my knives well, i have one knife actually but most of my knives i don't have any lanyards for uh, but that's going to be kind of your preference as far as what you do what you run uh, everything like that and this can be carried of course any way you want to so normally i have like right hand left hand tip up tip down you got a sheath for it right hand left hand tip up tip down the only thing again, uh, what I kind of recommend for it is to have this uh, lip on the thumb side, which whatever other way you're carrying it, because it made it easier to take out of the pocket. So unless again this uh, sheath was a little bit uh, shallower, uh, then you could actually have a grip where you can actually just pull it out of your pocket like this. For usability, that would be the way to go. When I was using this, I just dropped this in my pocket. So I like the sheath. I like the way it's done. I like the pocket clip. Uh, but as far as using it, I was kind of fishing it back in my pocket. I had to look at it to see if I was getting it into the actual slot. Uh, so it made it a little bit more difficult to use. So I'd rather just, if I'm going to be taking it in and out of my pocket quite a bit, it's going to be something that I'm going to just drop in my pocket, take it out, and I put it in my back pocket. Uh, so it's actually the only thing that was in there. So it made it easy to take out of the pocket, easy to know where it was. Um, and that's kind of what helped out uh, a really good amount. So. I would recommend for buy bar or avoid, my opinion on it would be a buy. It's a good, really good value, uh, good materials uh, from a, a brand uh, that really takes care of their products as far as a good fit and finish. Again, this one had a little bit of a step up on one side than the other, uh, so not a perfect build for it, uh, but it is still a nice setup. Um, as far as the leather side, uh, this is an okay leather. It's not 
I wouldn't say it's the, the highest quality leather. Uh, I, I, I really like my pop-up leather, which is a handmade, hand-stitched. Uh, and of course, it's going to be a different price point, but uh, I've been rocking that thing for probably a year now. Still holding up really well. So if you have, I want to check out leather sheaths, go check them out for pop-up leather. Uh, but thank you very much for that. And But that's about all I have to say about that one today.